You ever wanted to uh, star in your own video game? This is that opportunity. And how are you feeling? You got John Riggs here. This game is a game that I say I've been working on, but really most of the heavy lifting has been done by others. I'm just the one marketing it, promoting it, selling it, that kind of thing. It's a Nintendo homebrew. This is a 100% homebrew made from scratch. It's not one of my game hacks like I've done in years past. It's kind of a silly title, but there's a reason behind it. It's called Yeah Yeah Beebus 2. And you're like, <laughs> what? Well, once upon a time, uh, in the back of magazines and catalogs, there was like, hey, here's some games that are for sale. We buy, sell, and trade games. This is talking about like 80s style, where it's like, hey, we'll take your old games in, give you credit, you can buy games cheap, you know, buy them used and stuff like that. And one of the games featured on there a couple of times was a game called Yeah Yeah Beebus 1. And people are like, that's not even a game. That's not anything. Like, it could it be, like, could it be Lost Media? Could it be, you know, maybe a bad translation of a Famicom game that never came out here? Because sometimes they would list games that came out in Japan that we never got pending that they would probably come out in America, which sometimes they never did. So I was like, well, I can't make that, but I can make the sequel to it. So we have, in that case, Yeah Yeah Beavis 2. The game's coding and main graphics from Mega Cat Studios. Chips and Cellos did the soundtrack for this game. My buddy Yoshi did the box art for this game. Look how awesome that is. And then also my buddy Ness Rocks did some additional coding to make a few changes with the game once the game was made. Mega Cat Studios basically says, as a thank you, here's this game, do whatever you want with it. I'm getting out of doing game hacks, right? I, I've done game hacks for years. It's fun. It's time consuming, but I'm just kind of over. I don't want to. I don't want to do a game hack anymore. I just want to make my own homebrews in a way. I, I say make. You know, I want to. I want to have my own homebrews. How about that? So I was like, hey, can I? Can I just buy the game and then that way I can just change everything about it and put it back onto a cart and sell it that way? It's a game that no one really knows about me anyway. And that's when the good people at Mega Cat Studios love these guys. They're like, you know what? Just for fun, sometimes we do these little side projects and stuff like that. So we'll just make you a whole brand new game. How am I gonna turn that down, right? We've worked a ton in the past, so this is not something that they normally do, right? I should point that out right up front. So I was like, perfect, just make a, just a basic, whatever, arcade style, just kind of a fun game, you know? Whatever, whatever you're, you're the artists, whatever you come up with is perfect. And this put placeholders for all the graphics, because I can do all the graphics. I love doing pixel art anyway. And when I got the game that they gave back, I was like, on second thought, I might just use your graphics. <laughs> <laughs> and then edit a few things from there. So I did do some graphical editing on this game. And the reason I wanted my own homebrew, instead of a, hacking like a game that already exists for like the NES or Famicom or anything like that, was because now that I have this, I can edit the graphics of this game any way I please. Now, months ago, I teased the fact that when I hit 100,000 subscribers, I was going to put you in your very own Nintendo game. And this is the game I'm going to put you in. So although the cover features, this one here at least features a couple of those jumping uh, Chinese zombie vampire things, I'm going to replace those graphics with you and a friend, with you and your spouse, with you and your significant other, with you and your brother or sister, with you and your mom, with you and me. I mean, I'll put whoever you want in there. See, the other thing about doing game hacks is sometimes, you know, like Super Mario Brothers, for instance, there's like, you know, there's Mario and Luigi. It's the same graphic. If you edit one, you edit both. This one's two separate characters. So you can be a first player, someone else can be second player. You can enter to win in the description below. We'll just make it a super quick and easy style contest. And if you win, now I'll put your face on this label as well. But if you win, then you will have a brand new Nintendo game that's very new, that has a hundred levels. And instead of these main characters, it will be you and it'll be someone else, and you can decide that for yourself. And I'll work with you on that one in about, again, you gotta realize it's 8-bit graphics. I'll do the best I can. It'll be a likeness of you. How about that? <laughs> it won't look perfect, but it'll look, it'll be you. And I'll change the text so it has your name in it. How about that? So if you're interested in being in your own Nintendo game, enter to win via the link. Best of luck to you, and we'll go from there. And I'll ship you, I'll, I'll, I'll also put it on a cart and mail you the cart and all that too. And it'll, it'll just be the cart, no box, no manual, just a cartridge. Uh, with you and uh, someone else. I'm also right now in the process of getting boxes and manuals made for this game unedited. Um, and so look out for that in the near future too. I'll, I will be selling these either cart only or as CIBs at conventions in the future. I'm hitting up several conventions, so make sure you uh, check me out on Twitter and stuff like that. I keep you updated on which conventions I'm going to. If you happen to see me there, might have this cart there too.